Okay, this is going to be a, a little review of a sword I bought. Uh, I've been out swinging it this morning, and uh, I've learned a few stances and a few ways to move around and stuff, so I've been out swinging it. But I, I thought I'd do a review on it. This is a, uh, a Honshu uh, broadsword. It's got a, kind of a plastic rubber modern grip. This would be a sword like a fantasy type sword. It's uh, kind of like a, a medieval, um, a medieval uh, knight sword or templar sword or something. Uh, it's got a stainless steel pommel and a stainless steel guard which is very solid this sword is uh, uh, I think retails for $199 about $230 after I spent for shipping uh, this is very solid in the thing it uh, I've done a lot of hitting uh, bottles and paper targets and stuff and cardboard and stuff I hadn't hit any wood or anything. I don't want to tear it up. It has done no damage to the blade. Uh, I think it's kind of smeared the polishing a little bit, but the edge is perfect. I, I haven't uh, done any sharpening to it. I'm probably going to do a uh, cutting video on it. Uh, it was a uh, Honshu... Uh, they're made in China, and it's 1060 steel. Again, uh, it came with a sharp blade, not razor sharp, uh, but it definitely will cut, you know, water bottles and stuff of that nature. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this. It's got a mirror finish on it. Yeah, 1060 hard carbon steel. So you definitely want to put uh, oil on it and uh, keep it oiled up. I bought, uh, well, my wife got me these things uh, from Walmart, I think. And they're just little, uh, little, oh, I got one right here, maybe. Yeah, they're just oily, uh rags and you just you know before you put it up you want to wipe down the 1060 steel because uh 1060 steel will rust uh if you don't take care of it it comes with this uh scabbard the scabbard's a wood wooden scabbard uh with a plastic overhang now and that just happened this goes on the top here right here but mine has fallen off. I guess I could glue it if I wanted to. I just keep putting it back on every time I put the blade up. Comes with a leather frog. I put this leather belt on it. I don't really wear it anyhow. I mainly just take this out. But uh, uh, for a $200 sword, of course, I'm no expert on swords, but this was a... Uh, is very solid uh, I've watched a lot of reviews on swords since I bought this one and I got to tell you there's a lot of real a lot higher end swords that like the guard is loose on and stuff this is not this is solidly made I uh, I've you know hit water targets and paper targets and cardboard targets. I haven't I'm not gonna hit wood with it or anything um, I don't want to tear it up. Uh, the edge, you know, it's... I don't know if you can tell. It's got a little bit of waviness to it. And the... Uh, it's got a fuller halfway up the blade. Now, something I didn't know. I thought I always thought this was a blood groove, but this is actually just to take away from the weight of the the blade. And then it's a diamond edge up here. The center of uh, 
percussion or the cutting area is right about in here. If you, I don't, I don't have nothing to hold my uh, camera, but yeah, the center of percussion. So the cutting edge would be right above where the fuller meets on this one. The balance point is about two inches up the blade. I think the blade is 33 and three quarters inches and it's like 44 inches uh, with all. It's got a nine inch uh, handle. Handles real well. Um, of course, I've never handled any real swords, uh, especially not a battle ready sword, but uh, it feels pretty balanced to me for the money. Um, if you're just into like uh, going in your backyard and cutting water bottles, uh, this is something that I would consider before spending, you know, uh, you can get up a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on a, a cutting sword if you're not gonna uh, go into Hema. Hema is historic uh, European martial arts, and so I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm not gonna go to any Renaissance festivals or anything. I just wanna. Uh, get outside and swing the sword a little bit yeah that that came off this is just like a a foam top to the uh scabbard here and the scabbard i think is a wood or maybe it's just plastic all the way and then this is plastic i have nicked it already <laughs> uh a couple places I put scratches on the scabbard already, but that's because I had it on and I was swinging the sword around. I didn't know what I was doing. So anyway, if you want a solidly built, functional sword uh, that you can actually cut stuff with, uh, I would recommend it. Again, if you want a historically accurate From the medieval times, this is not one. This is kind of like your zombie apocalypse type uh, thing, I guess you would say. Uh, it's a modern take on it, but I actually love this grip. Uh, it's very solid. When you hit stuff, uh, you don't feel a lot of vibration coming back on you. And for a couple hundred dollars, you can uh, be a, a backyard warrior, I guess. So, anyway, this is a Honshu broadsword. Uh, really the first one I'm absolutely no expert on anything sword related. Uh, I usually make bible videos but i bought this and so i thought i'd go ahead and i haven't seen a lot of reviews on it so i thought i'd put a review up and see what happened but anyway that's my uh little review uh this the pommel and uh guard are stainless steel and very solid this guard um is really thick and of course, you know, you got a little gap on one side and it's tight on the other. It's, you know, it's put together, uh, I'm sure, you know, as a manufactured deal, it's not, not going to be like your high end swords, but, uh, for a couple hundred dollars, I think $230, I bought it from Bud K. Uh, I don't get no money from anybody, so, but I bought it from Bud K. Uh, uh, knives or whatever the name of the thing is and uh, yeah I've, it served the purpose I wanted uh, just something to play with other than that little uh, foam thing coming off the guard everything's held up real well and I have uh, you know whacked uh, quite a few things with it and no absolutely no damage to the blade uh, 
Now, again, I'm not hitting logs or anything, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. But uh, I haven't, I got it out of the box. I never, never uh, sharpened it one bit, and it just cut real good right out of the box. Of course, when I first got it, I swung it like a baseball bat. And then I watched a few videos and kind of learned how to go at, a, you know, your angles and how to move your feet and all that. And that really made a big difference. So for a redneck warrior, you might want to learn a little bit about how to stand, how to move, because that makes all the difference in the world. The first uh, water bottle I hit, I just swung it, you know, like a baseball bat. It cut it. But it was just brute force. Once I learned a little bit of a technique, uh, it goes through them like butter. So, if you're uh, like me, not really, you know, a sword guy or anything, and you just wanted something to swing around and play in the backyard, I would highly recommend this. Uh, even above, of course, I I've never messed with a an expensive sword. But if I spent, you know, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars on a sword, I I would be a a lot more cautious to to do the things I'm doing with this thing. This is kind of a like a beater type deal. Uh, it doesn't have a, it's the same thickness all the way down the blade, but it's a very sturdy blade. Let me see if I can. It's got a a little bit of play. I mean. You know, you want it to do that. You want it to have a, a flexibility. And from what I can find out, that 1060 steel is really good steel. This is where I've been chopping mainly right here. And you can see there's nothing wrong with that blade whatsoever. I have seen reviews where they've, they've chopped coconuts and stuff with it. But I don't want to do that with mine. But anyway, there you go. Honshu Broadsword. Uh, it's made in China. Which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you can see maybe China. And it's 1060 uh, still, and it seems to be uh, holding up real good. I've, I've whacked a lot of stuff with it, and nothing has come loose. And I've seen a lot of reviews since I've gotten this on other swords, a lot more expensive than this. And they go to uh, swinging and hitting stuff. And uh, this guard will loosen up. But not this thing. It's it's solid. Um, it, it does have... Uh, you can take the handle off. You could replace this handle with an authentic one, I guess. Uh, it's got a screw that... You take that out, and then it's got a little screw in the, that goes onto the hilt. I haven't taken this one apart, but I have seen a review where a guy did. And it's a full hilt, metal all the way to the back. And so if you wanted to replace that, it would be possible. It's not pinged like, uh, you know, a lot of the more expensive swords. So you could do about whatever you want. The handle is quite substantial actually uh and i mean i i think it of course i would what's the chances of anybody ever getting into a sword fight these days but if someone was to strike this i don't think it's going to give um anyway that's my little review of the Honshu Broadsword. I would say if you uh, like me and not really an enthusiast of swords, but just uh, wanted something to piddle around with, this might be a, a choice. Anyway, uh, my main... Uh, objective of my channel is not swords in any means it's uh about the king james bible i'm a christian i believe in the lord jesus christ 
And if you are not a Christian, uh, I would ask why not? Uh, the day and age that we are in right now is very, I think we're very close uh, to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to become a Christian, uh, you don't join a church, you don't go any uh, to any, it's not baptism, it's not uh, being confirmed. The way you become a Christian is... By believing the gospel. The gospel is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Uh, 1 through 4. And the gospel is. Let me get just go ahead and read it to you real quick. This print in this Bible is a little small. Uh, the Apostle Paul says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye, are, ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I have preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. And he was buried and rose again the third day, according to the scriptures that is the gospel you believe the gospel you believe in the death burial and resurrection of our lord jesus christ uh, the bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god so we're all sinners and it said for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved you repent of your sins folks and turn to Jesus. Repent is a military term meaning about face. Anyway, that's the Hanshu uh, battle ready sword. So I would recommend it uh, to anyone that, you know, even if you do collect swords, I guess. All right, folks, have a wonderful day. Uh, God bless you. And uh, read your Bibles and pray without ceasing.